carry the word inside your heart. Carry the what? Inside. The reason is very simple. You are the word of God. You came from the word. The world where we are came from the word. Everything that became to, you know, being here on earth came from the word. God never, never bring any material to say, let me create this and that. No, he just spoke a word. So if you carry the word, you are calling God Almighty. He planted this word inside your heart. But as long as the being is not given to the word, the word will remain dormant. The word is in your heart. This Bible that you see is a record. As long as, when I talk about the being, I'm talking about the Holy Spirit. Please. This Bible is just a record. If life is not given to this book, it's just a record. But when the life is given to this book, it becomes a being. That is Holy Spirit in us. So if you, you know you are calling the word inside your heart, you are calling that being by the name of the Holy Spirit, which God planted in your heart as life. Remember he said, let there be light, and the light was there. He said, let us create man in our own image. The man is there. He said, it is not good for a man to be alone. The human is there. Everything that you see, you can confess the word with your mouth. It doesn't mean that you are confessing Christ in your heart. No. You are speaking the language of today. The word is inside you. Even if you are not calling Bible, the word is there. This book is a record which doctors, criminals, drunkards are calling this same book. For you to call this one a holy Bible, the Holy Spirit is in you. Studying the Bible, you know, to intimidate others or to judge your fellow believers, doesn't mean that the word is in you. We read the Bible because that is our life. We read the Bible to refresh what is inside me. I don't read the Bible because of you. I read the Bible because it's my life. The word is me. Without me, this book was not supposed to be there. It is because of you and me, that's why the Bible is there. To remind you that you are the word. And for you to, be, to become successful in this life, it is the word of God to guide and to lead you. Money can buy food. Everything that you treasure so much can, you know, do one or two things, fleshly things. But when it comes to real life, it is the word inside your heart. Let me quickly take you to the book of John, chapter 5. Then we can go to James chapter 1, the one that I laid on Wednesday. John chapter 5. Verse 39. Are you there? You start the scripture diligently because you think that in them you have eternal life. These are the very scripture that testify about me. 40. Yet, you refuse to come to me to have life. You start the word diligently. And yet, you reject the being that can give you life. There are people who are studying the Bible every day. Not because they want to be saved, no. To go and challenge others. There are people who are preaching, not because they are preaching to themselves, no. They are, they, they, they are judging those who are listening to their messages. Before you share the word of God to anyone, share it to yourself. 
Feed your surface before you, you feed your brother or your sister. Let me give you this example. If you look at the people who are driving, or the pilot, or the drivers, you cannot drive without a license. Even if you are driving without a license, one day you meet the police officers. They will ask you, can I see your driver's license? No, I don't have. Come out, sir. Because by law, you are not allowed to drive without a driver's license. But when it comes to the word of God, anyone can preach the word of God without the permission of the Holy Spirit. It doesn't mean that you get any answer out of that preaching. It is the being in that way that can give you answer. I am talking to you, you are sitting quietly. It doesn't mean that all of you, you are listening to me. No. But if the spirit of God is in you, through the word, you are getting something out of this message. Reading the Bible every day is good. But as long as you are not benefiting anything, it's like you have never set your eyes on the word of God. What made evil people to be pompous, to attack you, Christians, it's not because they call themselves evil people. It is the evil power inside them, leading them and directing them to where, you know, to attack, who to kill and who to destroy. What about you, children of God? What can make you to know that this is a satanist? This is an evil person. This is poison. It is the being inside you that is the Holy Spirit through the word. Because I want to learn that no, each of us why quite okay, quite okay. You need the word of God now. As long as you are possessed, where the, the word of God is supposed to be settled, someone is already there. Then you hear uh, uh, the book of John, the book of Mark, the book of Matthew, what and what. And you are possessed with the spirit of, you know, uh, smoking or drinking. After listening to that word, it's like Kibachita amplify. Ichilakachanshi. Chawarwa. You start the word diligently. And yet you refuse to come to him or to believe in him. In fact, the name that Jesus knows about your life. He doesn't know as a Christian. He knows you as believers. You believe in him because you can use, you know, the word uh, uh, Christian as a cover. And yet you are a drunker. People know you as a Christian. What about Jesus? Does he know you? He doesn't know you. It is not what you say, but what you carry inside your heart. I'm standing here. I am not alone. I was talking to the sister who was, who was just ministered to, to us about her life. How will I know if it is not the grace of God that she has gone through this? It is the spirit of God in you. These people that you see confessing Christ, there are others who are going to churches for personal gain. Look at, uh, you know, uh, uh, during a uh, campaign period, election uh, time, see the way politicians, you know, patronize churches. Make no mistake. You can use religious language to deceive the masses. It doesn't mean that you can deceive Jesus. No. He knows you. 
You can say you are a Christian by birth. Because your father or your mom but my Christians. What about you? Jesus does not know you as a Christian. He knows you as a believer. Because you believe in him. It is people of this world who can call you Christians. Because that is the language. As long as you do not belong to other religion, they will call you what? A Christian. Are you a Christian in your heart? The word Christian came from Christ. Is Christ in your heart? If the answer is no, you are lying. Studying the Bible every day or preaching about what you hear, what you see, it doesn't mean that you know you are representing the will of God. First of all, the one who is preaching must be saved. As long as you are not saved, hmm, only Jesus knows. Uh, because of time, I think I'll just introduce my message. I don't want to be like, uh, you know, uh, I want you to get something out of this. Let me take you to James. James chapter 1. In a mukam funisha pofefan in the piba fear. Is disturbing me. This is twenty one. Therefore, get rid of all moral of filth and the evil that is. So prevalent and humbly accept the word planted in you which can save you. Planted where? Which can do what? The word is not outside, it is inside you. If you go to the book of John again, chapter 10, verse 25. Jesus is challenging you who are saying you are believers. But because of time, let me just, you know, conclude by saying, are you really calling Christ in your heart, the one you confess with your mouth? If the answer is no, your life is in danger. Evil people are real. And what can make them not to destroy you is the word of God in you which can give birth to the Holy Spirit inside your heart. Evil people are real. The one you talk about. They are there. They survive on human beings' blood. So carry Christ in your heart. We know him by his word and his spirit. The word he planted in you is to save you. No one can challenge the word of God and take it just like that. No. No one can stop the word of God to fulfill the mission of God. If truly the word is in you, the Holy Spirit is in you. If the word is inside your heart, the Holy Spirit is there. To give life to the word. Are, are you there? When you believe in the word of God, the word will, will, will be in your heart. Then the spirit of God will come to give you life now to what? To the word. So that whatever you say here will be said in heaven. It is the word that can communicate with your father in heaven, not your flesh. By the grace of God, I'll come back next Sunday. I want to share more about this. The word of God must be in your heart. And immediately the word of God entered your heart. The spirit of God will be there. To give life to the word. There you become the ambassador of Christ. There is it's part of your blood if you don't know. Anything inside your heart is part of your what? Your blood. See the way you are struggling. How to stop this? How to stop that? Addiction. In Sunko, Why? It's in your blood. 
He planted the word in you to save your life. Anywhere where you go, you are carrying the word, your life is safe. Even where there are witches and wizards, the word inside you cannot allow them to touch your body. Even criminals cannot come near where the word is active. Sickness, the disease will be in your blood, but they cannot destroy you until the time that God Almighty wants you to leave this world. That's when God will permit them to say, okay, you can now go and do whatever you want to do. But as long as the word is inside you, it is the word who determines everything. And that word is the Holy Spirit. This book you see, people carry all over, carry scriptures, what and what, without the Holy Spirit, you are not permitted. It is the Spirit of God. Nilekoji, tamu hapo kunganga. Ba hapo kunganga, let me see your hand. If you are once visited a witch doctor, yes. Tamu hapo kunganga pa hibo. Eh? Eh? Niwa shima pepo wadi. Niwa prophet. Niwa bishop. Nenso kana wale mba pachi saruna imomu wa yako. Niwa bishop. Bala ima tutubomba na nani? Zakaria 10 verse 2. The Bible says that inganga shila ndobu fi. Nefiroto shimona fi afye. Badi mwaya. Because you want to solve your problem. You are not ready to, you know, to be saved. All what you want is the problem to be what? Removed. No, it is salvation we need. Salvation first. Before we talk about this and that. Salvation first. In this world, people of God, as I conclude, we are not free. Why? Because we are not part of this world. This word of God will never be accepted here on earth. Except to those who believe in Christ Jesus. Thank you. God bless you.